This is my Gen 3 Bolt. I used it only three times, and it has been sitting in my garage. I was about to scrap the bolt and reuse the coroplast. At the same time, I've been thinking about designing a seat on top kayak, and I thought I may be able to modify this Gen 3 into that bolt. This is the 12 feet long seat on top kayak I'm interested in making. But the coroplast I have is only 10 feet. So I shrink it to 10 feet and try to extract some measurements as a baseline for my design. Unfortunately, the Gen 3 bolt's width or beam is 29 inches. But I want the seat on top kayak to be at 31 to 32 inches wide for stability reason. Instead of building a seat on top one, I reuse the Gen 3 and create a kayak with the following attributes. This is the first time I built a non-foldable boat. Among all the boats I have built, structurally this boat by far is the best because I worry about tying it down on top of my car when I travel at 70 miles per hour. This is also the first time I used Fusion only to build a boat. The structural members are made up of corpust and they are fused to the boat. I didn't use any glue. All these bring the cost down and with much better results. If you are heating up the corpust or PVC pipe, please do it in a well ventilated area and also wear a respirator to protect yourself. I developed a two-step process to fuse the bow together and the result is very good. In the past, all my designs have always been focused on ease to build and have not been very focused on hydrodynamics. This year, I will focus more in the performance of the boat. This boat has better hydrodynamic hull shape. Hopefully, it will perform as well as the $200 fiberglass kayak. I'm excited to show you this new gunnel design. I sandwiched a thin strip of wood between the coroplast. It is much faster to make and is much stronger than my previous designs. It costs less, however, it took me four to five trials to figure out the best way to make it. In my next design, I will replace the wood with a flattened PVC pipe, which is stronger and will not be affected by water like wood. I estimate the bowl will weigh around 15 pounds. I still need to work on the seat, then I can test the bolt. Please subscribe so that you will be notified for my next update. I will share more information if I'm happy with the water test. Welcome your comments and feedback. Thanks for watching. See you again.